Hello, Saka Fed. Hi, I'm Roma and welcome to my kitchen. Today I will be making some buttermilk fried chicken. If you want to see how I make this recipe, keep watching. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode. Now let's get cooking. Now all you need is your buttermilk and some seasoning. We have some, uh, I have some salt, pepper, some chicken seasoning, garlic powder, onion powder, and some paprika. Before we start, I'm going to marinate the chicken. And I have one whole chicken. I cut it up, washed it, and had it in the fridge overnight with a little bit of uh, seasoned salt. So now I'm going to put my buttermilk and let it sit and marinate. All right, guys, now I'm going to measure two cups of buttermilk. But I have a half a cup, so I'm going to do four of that. So this is, so this should be one cup. And now two cups. Then next step, I'm going to pour all the seasoning in there. So you can see this all goes in. And I'm just going to mix it up together. So what happens while this is marinating, that seasoning is going to soak right into your chicken. And when you fry it, it will be very, it will be flavorful. And then we just going to pour it over the chicken. I'm going to get every little bit. I'm going to stir it in, make sure it's going to be on every little bit. Get it all in there. And what you want to do with this, I'm going to leave it for about four hours. Cover it up and put it in the fridge. And this is going to be for my dinner tonight, so that's good. And that's it until I'm ready to cook it. I'm going to get my chicken all ready to fry and I have two cups of flour in here and this is the spices that I used in the buttermilk so I have some I'm just going to put it but this one there is no salt in it because I have enough salt from that so I'm going to mix it up and I'm going to put some I'm going to leave some out just in case I need to put more flour I'm going to crack two eggs. See, that's our chicken. It's been soaking in that buttermilk all day. What I'm going to do is take it piece by piece. Then I'm going to dry out a little bit of that liquid. So I'm going to do a couple pieces at a time. Speed up the process. We're going to dip it in our egg, shake it off, and I'm going to put it in the flour. And the egg just helps to keep the flour on it. I'm going to keep it. Now you can see I kept the skin on because you get it nice and crispy like that. Okay. So what you want to do when you're frying this is like I'm doing it now, you just put your flour and then you want to let it rest. And I'm going to have this chicken with some cornbread and a nice salad and that's going to be my supper. So chicken is going to be ready to fry soon. I'm going to pour my oil in the pot and just leave it until I'm ready. I'm using safflower oil and I like safflower oil because the food won't absorb it and it's very light oil and the chicken is going to be nice and crispy but not greasy. And I'm going to turn it on and let it heat up. 
see or oh, I can see it smoking and I'm going to do the dark meat sauce because it take longer to cook so let's put this oh yeah that's good on one side before I flip it over so I only do it once So I'm going to try this chicken and look how crispy that is. Mmm. That's good. That is well seasoned. Mmm. It's cooked to perfection and it's not greasy. Yeah, like crunch. You got some cornbread with that, some salad. That is delicious. And here it is, guys. Our delicious buttermilk fried chicken. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you again next time. Until then, God bless.